Man United have sacked Sir Alex Ferguson before Ten Hag. Disgraceful. It's been announced that Ineos have ended uh, what was a multi-million pound annual commitment to Sir Alex Ferguson. Look at Sir Alex, he's been there for 26 years and the trophies that he's won. Oh, my word! Fantastic link-up play between Rooney and Van Persie. Someone who's had this very well-paid ambassadorial role since he stepped down as manager back in 2013, so it is the end of an era. 20 league titles, a 13th for Sir Alex in the year 2013. Manchester United are champions once more. I couldn't believe this when I read this earlier on today. Man United have reportedly ended a multi-million pound a year agreement with legendary manager Sir Alex Ferguson as part of a cost-cutting drive by new owners in EOS. Fergie became a global ambassador for Manchester United, receiving a reported two million pound a year after stepping down as manager in 2013. Reports suggest that the decision has been taken amicably following a direct conversation between Sir Alex and co-owner Jim Ratcliffe last week as Ineos looked to cut costs in order to invest more money in the team. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, go on. I think this is absolutely disgusting. I honestly, do. Sir Al- I mean, the club mm. wouldn't be where they are without Sir Alex Ferguson. They owe, and they will always owe, Sir Alex Ferguson absolutely everything. He got them from the sleeping giant that Sir Matt Busby, Sir Matt Busby excuse me, left them, turned them into globally one of, if not the biggest team, the financial, if you look at the mm. the money, the not just the club, but everything that that club is connected to, the money-making machine that is Man United is all down to one person, and that's Sir Alex Ferguson. The fact that they have decided to save £2 million a year and got rid of him from that ambassadorial role, I think is absolutely disgusting. I really do. Mm. So when Sir Jim Ratcliffe came in, a lot of United fans, including myself, were very excited as to the direction the club was going to go, right? Because no one liked what the Glazers were doing, etc. There, there seemed to be no structure. And, and part of him coming in was, I'm going to set up, you know, a football director, Wilcox came in, and the, the boardroom level, everyone will know what they're doing. I, do, I, I can't see any improvement yet. Mm. And if you look at some of the players that have come in, since Ineos have been in charge, I still don't see any big improvement. No players have come in and maybe go, oh, wow, we're going in a new direction. Mm. The fact that Sir Alex Ferguson has has been made redundant to save money when you've got the likes of, and I'm not picking players, Anthony on over 10 million a year, Casemiro on 12 million a year, and they've looked at Sir Alex Ferguson and they've got, he's got a stand named after him for Christ's sake. They've looked at Sir Alex and gone, oh, we can save two million pound here. Bye bye. He's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Do you want a counter argument? No, get out. <laughs> I'm not going to give you one. Go, okay, no, fine. I haven't got one for you. What I would say is, I don't know whether Alex uh, Alex's age has instigated this. If he hasn't instigated it, it it's unbelievable. I read somewhere that they, they pay him whatever they pay him. Two. Whatever, two million. He must generate that tenfold, surely. It, he is Manchester United. In my lifetime as, as a player, certainly, you look at what he's done at Manchester United Football Club. He's the last one who has the keys in his hand and he locks Old Trafford up, end of. You know, so I don't get the financial... Uh, Savings? Yeah, I can't see how there are any because... The detrimental effect that that would have, stepping him away from it, is quite incredible. But um, I don't know whether this profession amazes me day by day or not. I really don't. But that's where I, I just see some loyalty. Who, if you're going to have a conversation behind Alex's back to say, we're going to have to cut some costs, and I know where I can save two million oh, quid. Disgusting. There's this old bloke who sits up in the stand. In fact, he sits up facing his own stand <laughs> that we could get shot of is, is quite amazing and I find that very very sad in football but I was always told by by an old manager that I worked for when you leave a football club don't be coming back knocking on a door or anything and expect a ticket don't expect anything you knock on the door and you wait outside and that is a, this is another strain of that you know what I mean but, but I find but know it so his, sad know your history know your exactly. heritage exactly Exactly. Understand the club, yeah. You, you and so Jim you can't support this in any way. No, shape, you can't. Or and, and also, you know? the, I wouldn't say the club's on its knees at the moment, but the club's not in in the best shape it's been in. No. So you need for, good news. You need from mm. a PR perspective. This yeah. is just 
Whoever's come up with it, yeah. they should be sacked. This is worse than that hole in your roof you had at your grave. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can patch that up. You can't patch this up. Yeah. There's no going back now. They've made that decision. No. Whoever, sa- whoever made that initial call mm. and said to Sir Jim, if it wasn't Sir Jim, I've got an idea. They should go. Mm. Because you obviously have no understanding of how to run a football club. No. What it means to the fans. No. No. I... How can you sack someone who's got a stand named after him? I... Well, I, I, it's just amazing to be fair. And I don't know whether sort of they, they got wind that Alex had, had done enough of promoting the club or whatever. I can't see it because he's so proud of that football club. It, it, I mean, he was as the manager. But you see him now and you see that look on his face when the, when it pans to him and you can see the pride or the disappointment yeah. he's got with results it, and performances. Here's the difference. It's just occurred to me this. So who was who, Martin Edwards, right? Remember Martin yeah. Edwards before David Gill? I've read his book. It's a fantastic autobiography. When Sir Matt Busby retired as Man United manager, they gave him the club shop. Mm. And and United had to buy it back off him when they started expanding, yeah. right? They gave him the club shop. Yeah. They just sat Sir Alex. I mean, it's it's it goes beyond belief. Can I go back in my history as well and and pull out situations? When Bobby Robson resigned as England manager or, you know, after eight years in, in charge in 1990... The FA should have kept him on for me. That, and I still feel as though the FA, in a different way to Alex Ferguson, don't get me wrong, and I still feel as though the FA should have been keeping Gareth on now as head of teams. This is where football can be very, very short sighted in regard to you're either flavour of the month or you're not. Let, let, let me ask you then on the sad. back of that, playing devil's advocate, the only thing I'll say is is it a little bit detrimental to whoever becomes the new England manager knowing the old ones above you looking down going oh I wouldn't do that not when it's Gareth Southgate because I don't think he's that type of individual and you've got to know that's your true. people that's he, true he's not that way inclined he he puts the team and the organisation before himself and that that tells you everything and I think the same can be said of Alex as well it's terrible there are reports I'm not saying this is true but there are reports suggesting that Ineos and Sir Jim Ratcliffe have also cancelled the Christmas party this is not something I've made up, by the way. This is what I'm... Re- I don't know if that's true or not, but I have read that. That wouldn't surprise me. Mm. Cost-cutting, cost-cutting, cost-cutting. There's another two million saved. Well done. But listen... The- all, the, all these players, though, these dud players mm. that they've bought that are on ridiculous mm. money, I'm not naming them, mm. they're on ridiculous money, they've- and, and they've looked at Sir Alex Ferguson yeah. and said, he can go. Well, if it's as clear-cut as that, it shook football, really, isn't it? You know, no one's no one's bulletproof. In no, Alex, isn't it? no one is bulletproof. No, it is disgusting, isn't it? Yeah, it it, it yeah. does make me think that Sir Jim Ratcliffe yeah. and everyone else involved in Ineos has absolutely no understanding about the heritage and history of that club well, and what it means to fans. Yeah, and if it was down to Alex as well saying, "Look, I'm a bit old to be travelling to sort of the Far East to, to promote the club and coming to the games on a regular basis," which is understandable. You don't turn round and say it was by mutual consent. Alex decides Alex's future. Yep. End of. He's earned the right to do that. Yeah. Hang your head in shame. It your, is disgusting. We'll take. We'll take. Yeah. Hang. I spoke over you there. Say that again. Hang your head in shame. You and your club. Oh, it's aimed at me. Well, oh, to so him, so Jim, not me. Both of you. Yeah, don't do with me. <laughs> I'd, I'd have given him a pay rise. But you mentioned something 100% right at the top of your conversation. They've made the money that they're giving him, two million, they've made that tenfold each year by having him as club ambassador. You must do. You must do. Yeah. Or, you know, what he's done in the history of that football club, all the trophies that are lined up across that stand of his... And wherever he goes, anywhere in the world, representing that football club, because Alex is synonymous with Manchester United. So just by being in a stadium promotes the football club. Yeah, disgusting. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.